Hi, it's Russell from Russell Jennings and Morbeth, bringing to you a video presentation of the 2004 Porsche Carrera 2 Tiptronic S Coupe. It's a car that's just come in part exchange to the business, a stunning car, a brand that I'm very passionate about. 2004-04, miles on the clock. It's a well-maintained car, it's been in our workshop for, very, for some maintenance good service history and now it's come in part exchange. Basalt black metallic with the black full leather interior. It's got the lovely 18 inch five spoke alloy wheels, nice black calipers as well. Well maintained model. It has covered 99,500 and odd miles, seven keepers in total, which again 2004 and 4 are a 911, not bad in terms of owners. It's got the rear wiper as an option. It's got the satellite navigation system. The bodywork is in excellent order as well. And remember, these cars are starting to appreciate as well. This is a very, very clean and tidy one. Nicely presented as well. Now let's take a look inside. So, mentioned the wheels. Love the design of these. Open the interior there. I'm going to spend a little bit more time in here in just a moment. Let's look in the rear engine bay. It's a nice black Carrera barging. Look at that. Now it's recently had a new water pump. Very, very clean and tidy in there. Sounds fantastic as well. You've got the single pipe on each side there. Light clusters are always that should be. If you're really, really critical. There's a minuscule dent there and a tiny little bit of corrosion on the runner there. But in the main, the body works very, very good. You get the usual 911 stone chippings to the front, but again, this one's not bad. But in general, it's a lovely, lovely car. So let's take a look under the storage compartment here. We've got the spare wheel well, so you get good storage in this. Bear in mind, it's a sports car. Brake fluid there. Battery location then to the back right is where you would top your washers up. Looking underneath there, there's a chassis sticker plate there, still intact. Pushing that down, that suggests it's an original bonnet on the car. And let's take a look inside. So, leather again, from watching my videos, you'll know I'm quite particular about leather wear. Again, this is a 14 year old car, by the way, but look at the interior, the interior is in very, very good order. Uh, the 911s do wear well. So again, you've got a little bit of creasing on the driver's foot seat bolster and on the lower base, but in general, it's very, very clean, nice and fresh, no evidence of smoking. I love the Alcantara headlining in there as well. Fold, you can fold the rear seats down so they go flat. Working our way around to Tiptronic, so you've got the Tiptronic gear change, nice storage pockets there, light selector, adjustable steering, wheel there from here I'm going to jump inside now here we go oh smells fantastic now if you've driven Porsches before this particular smell inside smells fresh lovely and you can smell the leather as well this is fantastic Get side airbags there now the navigation system has is all intact here you've got a CD slot there comes on with the Porsche emblem or Porsche if you'd rather call it that um, rear wiper selection from there it's got climate control, the CD storage unit, confirm there, press map, give them another second and it will come up from there. So you get a nice colour screen there with adjustable view. It has a trip computer as well, I mentioned there's two keys, two keys here. Let's pop the key in, start the car over, sounds fab. So in here, 99.535 on the miles. Tiptronic selection, so remember we can change up and down the gears from here or down to drive, move it to the manual side and that'll control the manual selection from the, the steering wheel only. Open there, there's a bit of storage compartment there. Now, one of the things, maintenance 911s, ongoing thing with them, there's some receipts there as well, but and all the different manuals. Let's take a look in the service booth. Right, okay. So, this one originally, Let's take a look inside. It was supplied by, let me go to the front of the book. Is it gonna tell us sometimes the dealers stamp it, sometimes they don't. Right, there we go. 
Uh, official Porsche Centre Kent, 2nd of March 04. There's the, diff the chassis number there if you want to take a note of that. Pause it and you can get that and do some uh, research on it. Uh, as we look inside here, so Tunbridge Porsche Centre, and we've got that from 17th, 11th, 04, 06, 07. Oh, sorry, 05, I've missed it. Let's go side to side. So, and again, a Mazda Centre. Northampton Mazda they must have sold it at some point. Mitsubishi Motors they've sold for 10th of the 5th 12. Over to 13 you've got Great Wall and then it goes from 13 you've got Russell Jennings of Morbeth. We've serviced it there. We actually did a big service then for the previous keeper because it was just from Cramlington. Plugs, oil, air filter, aircon regas, brake fluid, pollen, coolant change, gearbox fluid, front rear discs and pads, and that was just at 97, that's 2,000 miles ago. And we've just serviced the Kartnik 9530. Um, the other things, there's a record of a brake fluid change there as well. This car was supplied by Dow Story, so that should be a service from them as well. But we're gonna only go off what's in the book. There's a good selection of stamps in there. Now, this is our specific, our preparation sheet. If you bought a car from us, you'll know what this is about. So. Things have picked up on the multi-point check and, it, and done the gear selector cable was a little bit stiff now it's free and easy as you can see it has it's been serviced mobile one and um, oil in the car renewed brake pipes so it's had some brake pipes on it which is good again when you're thinking about about maintenance in the future all done it's got a tire on it thermostat housing gasket there um mentioned we did a water pump on the car recently as well and there will be another invoice from when the previous customer had that. Renew the front left air condenser and front right air conditioning condenser. If you've had 911s, you will know all about this. Um, the, in the front air duct, and I'm gonna show you on the car now, you do sometimes, they do take the odd stone, and that's what does mark them. So as we look to the front here, you can see from the bottom, in there, you've got the, that's the air conditioning, how the condensers work. So sometimes stone chips damage them, and we've got and there are two in stock on this car, they'll be on before the car gets sold. But again, part exchange most welcome. I'll have to check in terms of finance because of the age of the vehicle, but we'll certainly do our best. But any questions, pick the phone up 01670 515 055. And thanks for watching, and look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.